Hello, today I'm going to be talking to you guys about devlog number 21. What exactly is this about? Well, quick selection, that's the thing over there on the left. Basically, to get right into it, this is the main page for quick selection. So, what you'll see is if I block, if I charge, basically if I press any of these correlating keys, it will show up that I'm doing so. So, if I'm going here and flying, by the way, whenever you fly now, it bumps you in the air, that's a nice little touch. So, whenever I fly, you can go ahead and dynamic flight. It will show that right there. By the way, I'm gonna be talking about movement speed in a later devlog dedicated to it, or maybe it and some other stuff, but that's for another day. Movement speed has been greatly changed though. Action menu, you can see I opened that here. I got some other things, you know, flight is here, this is here. I'll, I'll talk about some, some changes here later, okay? Um, but getting past this page we're just gonna go ahead and show off key moves right so let me just go ahead and charge my key moves as you can see the bot where there's a new visual here instead of the old one i'll put it on screen now you have this new one which as you can see the overcharge is a different color it looks kind of cool the lightning blah 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 pretty nice go ahead and charge that full you see there's a unique color for the percent depending on where you're at so there you go you fire that it says fired at it so it gives you a little detail it's kind of cool um key still functions the same though so there's no mechanical changes there as of now combat update right that's what that's for uh the color does change based on that i can go ahead and uh, the fired at visual does help with this right here looking pretty nice there if i do say so myself so you can figure out how much you're spending per attack pretty pretty cool um moving on the, the key menu effectively functions the same i will go ahead and talk about however the controls so you can see this is the control for the key menu there's recovery items transformations and techniques so you can change all these key binds at your own will the use key it's set to none it's actually m2 um it's actually m2 i'll go ahead and add something that says m2 by default or something just because I, I can't change this here that's just how it's coded um navigate down this is arrow keys by default and then return is just back so like if i press back i go back to the first page um and if i use my arrow keys and go left right boom boom um up 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 you know like like that right it correlates you can change them if you wish um you can see there's a little uh, i'll get into that later sorry recovery items uh this is a pretty pretty significant change so a couple things to go over um recovery items are getting subtle rebalances nothing huge as far as the amount they heal really um some subtle changes which i'm not gonna go over in too much de detail because we're still working on the numbers for them to get them perfect we still have some play testing to do so keep in mind any stack sizes cooldowns healing amounts you see are all subject to change just so you know but one thing i want to get into so the inventory here it's changed i'll talk about this later just like the action menu but you have these recover item slots which is effectively where you put healing items now so it's worth mentioning that i can have a whole stack of heal aids right here you know no limit on them just 64 stack size but in the description it says it gives you all the details i made this prettier so it's easier to understand now recovery info recovery item group get into that in a moment stack size 15 in recovery slots and cooldown of six seconds so if i go ahead and put this here you could see bam right so recovery item group what is that exactly these two share the same group the groups are i'm going to put them on screen recovery item group health energy edible specialty edible and duration sorry about that duration is just the pills which worth mentioning um are actually recolored now they're health and energy supplements or health supplements and energy pills recolored as you'd expect right so bam so what happens if these are the same group you see these two are the same group and these two are the same group health and edible right so if i go ahead and use a super heal aid i'm going to get a what was that six second cooldown and it puts my vita drink on cooldown why is that they share that same group they're both health uh, recovery group health right as it is um so with that in mind basically if i get a the same way the old cooldown works right now that you guys are playing with um if, if i get this three second cooldown the heal aid is on cooldown for three seconds if i use the heal aid the vita drink is on cooldown for six seconds basically whichever one you use the other one in the group will be put on cooldown i 
I can go ahead and show you guys sensu beans here bam you see that puts dino meat on cooldown again any cooldowns you see stack sizes etc are subject to change however it is also worth mentioning i'll go ahead and just run a little quest for you guys to show you guys something when you're in a quest you cannot edit these which effectively limits your healing amount anyway so i, I can't clicking here i can't modify but obviously you could still use the heals duh that's um pretty crucial so whenever you're done with the quest you come over here um i don't know if i finished that yes okay so there you go got rid of it um so lovely there and the same is for challengers special training pretty much any combat you're gonna get into any combat you'll get into your recovery items will be locked like that so um with that in mind uh what else to discuss about it well there's some limitations here such as whoopsie so let's go ahead and just take all of these out you know you see i have all my vita drinks here let's go ahead and put vita drinks in there okay i got 20 this, these also have different stack sizes this is an important thing to note you cannot just bring all three types of vita drinks you can only have one type of an item that's the only limitation there there's not like group limitations it's straight up just you can't have all three kinds of heal aids you can't have all three kinds of vita drinks focus candies anything that has types anything you see here with multiple variations you cannot have multiple of so that's important to know but you can still come here and just do uh this and uh these are specialty edibles so they take all of these actually not all of these sorry about that let's um go ahead and get a, get a stack of health supplements right so all of these have separate cooldowns as you can see if i if i do any of these i'm just going to be they're going to be all different cooldowns which means you can just come in here and do this mind the visual issue with the cooldowns just coded that right before this so mind that right anyway moving on we're going to talk about the more really cool changes of quick selection that are just really sick so getting right into that the action menu no longer has transformations or techniques that was stinky in my opinion so what i did is something akin to kakara i'll show it on screen now that's pretty much where the concept for quick selection came in the first place um i was playing kakara and i'm like you know this would be a lot better and then me and my designer munchkin got to working and this was this was back in like april so we, we created this and it was just really nice and it took a while to actually get fully functional in the game but the concept was there so anyway what is going on with this okay you have every single form listed i'm going to get to these pages alternate forms of kyle Kenstack in a minute but you have every single form listed i can just hold right click which mind you you can change that control hold right click boom i'm in a form press h to descend boom mind you by default the keybind to open transformations menu is g so if you press that you just come here um yeah so i'm going to go ahead and go into a form right here here's the really really cool part you might notice these aren't like you don't have to you know if i press g what happens nothing it opens the page how do i go to another form how do i charge up you don't you go to literally any form you want to go to ozaru you want to go to super saiyan god well once it's off cooldown don't <laughs> the interface exploded okay anyway you want to go god oh let me double click and instant ascend into god which is a thing now at level five you will have instant ascending into a form so that's nice nice uh, another reason to get level five um here i believe the unlock is different for uh blue i'm not i'll put it on screen if i remember hopefully but um i believe it's different since blue is obviously unlocked at level eight It'd be a little odd but anyway you can go into any form uh, enough yapping about specifically forms let's go ahead and just go back by the way if you if you do press that backspace button you return to the last page which in this case is this page so alternate forms oh there we go just max my mastery sorry about that I didn't have alt forms um if I, if I go back to this page like i have instant ascend on everything now um so that's nice if i go into alternate forms you can go from when i was saying you can go from super saiyan 3 to super saiyan 1 in any direction you could do that for alt forms as well so i can just come in here i can go oh what's that i want to go gold nozara which is technically an alt form now just functionality wise it it works the same um just jump into that my interface is going to explode because of course it is anyway you can just jump between any single form you want and any variation of the form as well as kaioken stages uh shit gets crazy so i can just go blue kaioken times 10 oh what's that i want to go full power super saiyan real quick let me just do that i'm in the form just like that shrimp is that if you will uh that was a little bit cringe it's okay though i can like 
I'm really, really, really happy with this system. Mind the fact I don't have an aura, I have the cosmetic toggled off. Um, but I am really happy with this system and how it turned out, man. Um, I, I hope it's going to give you guys... I mean, this is effectively... You guys have asked for instant transformations. You got it. Double click to ascend. Uh, you asked for descending from like 3 to 2 to 1. Okay, you could do that. And you can go from Kaioken to alt form to, to Super Saiyan. Any variation. This works for every race, of course. Um, as, as should be expected here on Apollo. Um, yeah, really, 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 really exciting stuff. Um, I'm, I've been with, I've been pining to show you guys this for quite some time, but let's talk about how Kaioken works, okay? Uh, you know, you saw the Kaioken stacking page, but how about Kaioken itself? Pretty simple, same kind of menu here. You can instant ascend into Kaioken and all that fun stuff. I don't mind the little particle visuals, I haven't changed that. A lot of transformation stuff so it still needs to be uh, fine tuned, but you can see I can just jump in between all my Kaiokens here. They also have instant ascend, and I think it's like level three for them that you get it. Um, but if I was in Super Saiyan, okay, and I go to the Kaioken page, sorry, I keep pressing B, uh, which is recovered items, keep mind. If I go here, you can see Kaioken immediately assumes it's for Kaioken stages now, not Kaioken base. As far as fusion goes, you just open fusion and now you just charge with fusion controller or fusion partner and you go into the relative uh, controller or partner mode. Um, so yeah, that's that's it for quick selection right very cool stuff i hope you guys like that um very excited for you guys to have this new system in place to to, to use forms recovery items and uh key blasts. i really think the coolest part about this is the fact that it combines all of it into one cohesive menu that works well together uh, before i get into other menus i will talk about the options you have for customization so here's the stat menu we're going to talk about this later so do stay tuned it's a long devlog but stay tuned for um talking about menu stuff i'm going to go straight to interface settings i'm going to go i'm going to show you guys some changes since we last talked about this in the health bar devlog 18 you should watch that if you haven't um about, about this stuff up here so if i change this the entire theme you can see everything is changing right um, there's some bad combos you can get out of that. But anyway, all of it changes. Point is, if I was to... Basically, there's a there's general settings for scale, opacity, and everything. Where you can just scale the entire screen as you wish. Uh, mind the hotbar running for its its life. Um, you, could, you could scale the entire screen, basically, with just these settings. But, quick selection itself, and health bars, and eventually the hotbar, have these independent settings where... You see it's global color right now. If I change it, now the setting is this setting rather than using global color. So I'm going to go ahead and show off some of these um, colors here. I'll go ahead. Let's do the red one. It looks pretty cool. Go ahead and change the text color. Um, let's just do, do dark red, right? All cool red theme here. You see everything changes colors. So if I was to charge my key move. This also changes colors. Um, might make this independent. Let me know if you guys want this to be its own independent options. This... Thing in the middle of the screen key charging i don't even know what i called it something surely um so yeah hope you guys like that um let's go ahead and talk about some of the other options quick selection position and scale so this gets pretty neat you can go ahead and come in here and just um you know scoot that all the way over there if you wish right um let's just leave it like right there and go ahead and put it all the way up here so that i can just have it on the right of my screen because Okay, we are back. I'm going to show you guys some other settings we have here. My phone just made a noise. That was odd. Um, so I showed you guys the offset. You know, you can also adjust opacity as you'd expect. Mind the fact that the um, text doesn't change right now. But you can also scale this up and down as you wish, about half the size and about 50% bigger. So there's that. Um, so if you, if you want it to be a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, go ahead. Anyway, two quick selection stuff. There's... Quick selection animations, which is effectively just the little pop out whenever you go to another page. Um, so that's neat. Just be able to change that, I guess. Um, really, uh, the way I the way I think about these client settings options is, okay, I'm doing this thing animations. Someone might not like that. That might bother someone if it if it's constantly popping on the screen on the left, right? So, oh, you see how it just took me back to this page? Turn that off, and then it won't. You can just stay on this page forever. Um, that was just something that felt nice. Uh, you know, basically it's a great way for me to be able to make a decision quickly. Okay. This is just going to take you back to the first page after 10 seconds of you sitting there. All right. Well, if someone doesn't like that choice, they can just get rid of it or someone likes the choice, 
but right. they want it to be you know 30 seconds right if i go to this page now you can see that timer is absurdly long um go ahead and just reduce that here um but key moved fire to at well page icons gets rid of the page icons as you expect up there guide text just gets rid of the text so you can just pop these things off here if you already know what you're doing and you don't need any help you don't need to be told to hold m2 get rid of it cool get rid of the page icons great clean it up you know I, I think it looks sleek that way but this is the the text and icons are really just there so that players know you know exactly what's going on at a glance because i understand this ui might be a little bit to get used to anyway key move fired at we, we we you guys should know what this is um it just gets rid of the fired at it still pops up for things like barrage but that's just how barrage works so um if i fire this here it's not going to show you can go ahead and enable it and then give it like 10 seconds you can see it's still there because the, the code's still running you just disable it and it doesn't happen anymore so there you go fired at boom that's pretty much it for the quick selection um, stuff there. We're going to go ahead and talk about the stat menu. Uh, you can see a lot of things changed here. I don't know if I've even shown this yet, but a lot of things changed here. One, set all my stats down a little bit so that you guys can see this. Whenever I hover over the upgrade option, you can see it highlights pretty much uh, like Elden Ring, Dark Souls kind of games where you look at the menu, you hover over the dexterity stat and it shows you what's going to be affected. Anyway, though, the form stuff's pretty cool here. Current multiplier shows right there, 8.4. Current drain shows right there. Let's go ahead and jump into an alt form because it gets a little bit more complicated, right? Oh, 3.0. Where did that multiplier come from? Well, you start with the 2.8 with Super Saiyan. You get a 0 0.2 resulting in a 3, basically just showing the math so that everyone can understand what's going on. Oh, you have a one. You have a negative 185 plus 75 for the alternate form resulting in 110 drain. I hope that makes that more clear. There's not really much else to go over. This is your... Um, this is your character name. It, it will also show player name uh, if you had a different character name. But I just left my character name to my uh, in-game name, Zerozom. So, yeah. Uh, not really much else to discuss here. Bad, everything's effectively the same. I just moved it around and made it a little bit cleaner. Added your character here, obviously. Not really much else to talk about here. I, all the pages just got adjusted, as you'd expect. I think there's new icons for TP boosters that I did ages ago. We're going to go ahead and show off the inventory, right? Let me go ahead and get some stuff and come back to you guys with that that looks good so there's some arbitrary rarities here 25 tp gem blah 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 you can see these have what is basically rarities in their background which i think is quite neat um and some other things like armor i think z souls have unique backs yes z souls have unique backs um all of the currency has a unique back all of our server currency just has this gray boring background okay so i went ahead and changed those rarities here you see common uncommon and rare you can see they have different backs and obviously it just it's using this so the other rarities which you can't even get rare armor right now so it doesn't really matter there's not really a huge amount to talk about in this uh, it looks really nice i'm really proud of it uh, really happy with how it turned out the whenever you hover over these items you see put vanity items in this slot put body suit put weights put armor put um armor cosmetic in this slot and then these say put recovery items in this slot so it's pretty much just telling you this is how you use these slots you know and as you guys can see the halo did move from here um from there to here so that's a, a nice touch okay we're back in game i'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys about the action menu i don't know why it's weirdly yeah why is the opacity one all right, sorry about that. The action menu is weirdly bright, but as you guys can see here, we have flight pop, pop you up in the air. You can change your flight mode, key sense, kill mode, blah, blah. Release charge is pretty neat. Um, if I go ahead and change that here and charge down, um, I'll just go ahead and you know charge up by tens. The speed is correlated to what you're at. So it's about half as slow as five, and then one is about five times faster. So now you have the ability to just be like, oh, press C press c so you could fight someone at one percent of your power congratulations also movement speed does not absolutely murder you if you're at these low percents we're going to talk about that in the movement speed devlog or whatever else happens in that devlog right but um moving on we have some challenger stuff so let's let's go ahead and show you guys those new challenger interfaces right so talk to the challenger about you know i'm on my test server here um this guy has a new page you can see it's just the color scheme all of these here are the same but there's a random select now so you could just go ahead and boop and it selects one of the available things it actually rolls 
five times so if you obviously it's just not gonna roll the ones you don't have unlocked but if it rolls and someone's in it it will roll again so not only is it selecting a random one it's pretty much just get you in one if a lot of them are full like when the update comes out a lot of the ones will probably be full so you could just click that and it will just probably put you in a free one um yeah and then we have the challenger thing here um this was previously shown in feature highlight one you guys should go check that out uh but basically just new challenger upgrades here and you can toggle them through the menu nice and simple like just if you wanted to change them if you want to go back to this you want to go back to the og whatever right if you be weird uh anyway you have all of the challengers here i like to think this menu looks a lot tidier than it did before maybe i can go ahead and um yeah i can go ahead and show this right here this is something that wasn't included in the uh event this year but it will be in future runs um you guys could see god form xp right there so basically that's cool um i believe that's uh Okay, I don't really have much else to talk to you guys about. Um, the hot bar will be changing in the same theme as the quick selection and the uh, hot health bar up there. But that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching. This is a long dev vlog. I'm probably going to cut some of the stuff I just recorded because this was 30 minutes of recording. Um, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for supporting the server, playing the spook event. It was a great event. Well, it's still going on. But thank you guys so much. We're going to have more teasers for you guys. Um, you know no word on progress like in terms of where we're at estimate wise i won't give any of that no release estimates you know that that you guys will get a release date when we finish development and we've done a little bit of polish like basically development finishes the checklist is done and i'm just polishing and doing last minute quality of life adjustments to existing uh, to changes made so yeah no word on when it's coming out um yeah love you guys thank you guys so much for being so patient i really do appreciate the just you guys continuing to play the server despite huge gaps between updates you know this update's been in development since december of 2022 so we're going on a year now it's been about 11 ish months so almost the longest development update you know we'll see how that turns out but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys like quick selection and the other stuff i yapped about this video um yap fest number 21 is now over peace out Check my check my list for you guys.